Um, explaining texturing is not always the easiest thing. All right. Um, let's start by just looking at the texture editor. So I'm going to go to the Polygon menu set, edit UVs, down to UV texture editor. Just open that up. And if I click on my chair, you can see we got some UVs there. All right. Um, working with UVs, it's really good to use our checkered pattern. So let's go ahead and create a material for that. Uh, you can do it in a hypershade. Um, whoops, that's a hypergraph. You can do it in a hypershade. Um, you can just click your materials over here. It goes down there, or you can just right click, go down to assign new material, and select it that way. So a Lambert. Let's go ahead and give that Lambert a name. So SHDR. It's just the way I name it. Shader underscore, and we'll say checkers. Uh, color swatch, far right, click the button. Opens up this dialog, click file, and now we can click this button over here and look for our pattern. I need to go to my pictures. There we are. All right, there is our color texture. Oh, checkers. We're doing checkers right now. All right. So now let's press F6, or not F6, just number 6, and there's our texture. You can see that it's kind of squished on the sides. The front looks all right. Well, what I'm going to do on the first thing is just... Uh, if we look at our UV texture editor, okay, it's kind of hard to see our UV, so I'm going to go to the image, down to dim image, and it dims it. And to get rid of our texture picture back there so we can see this even more, um, let me just open this up some. And then right over here, we've got a button that we can turn that on and off, our alpha. All right. And I'm also going to click this button. Uh, that allows us to see if our UVs are backwards or not. And we can also just look, because we can tell right now we've got some UVs that are backwards. See right here? These numbers, or actually no, it's just upside down. It's not backwards, it's just upside down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do Create UVs, Planner Mapping, Options Box, Z-Axis, Project. All right, so now our UVs look more like a chair. Uh, we can probably, let's me right-click, UV, Marquee drag around all those, go to my scale tool, I'm just going to scale this. I'm looking at my texture, just trying to make all these square. So maybe something about like that. All right, um, the front and back look good now, except the back is backwards. I'm going to split this into two shells. The way we do that is I'm just going to go to edge select mode. I'll do this over here so you can see what I'm doing, edge. <clears throat> I'm just going to double click an edge right there. Polygons, cut UVs, and it should cut our UVs right there all the way around. UV, I'm just going to click on a spot, just to click on one, you'll see how like green. Control, right click to shell. So now if I move that, you can see that's the front half, and these are the back half. All right, it's red, meaning they're backwards, and you can tell by looking at the texture. Polygons, flip. Now, it's, if you look over here, it's all the right way. UV, so there's our back. Okay, we want to fix this, just this outside edge right here. Everything else is, and looks, looks good enough. Let's kind of zoom in there. Yeah, everything else looks good enough. It can stay just like it is. So what I'm going to do is I am going to let's work on this back one first. This one here. I want to select UVs and I only want I'm going to select UVs that I want to stay exactly like they are. And then everything else will get unfolded. So for this back, I'm going to select all these UVs in the middle. And then I'm just going to come over here and just shift collect, uh, shift click all these going around the edge. Because it would be kind of hard to get them over here in this view. Just 
just want to make this as easy as possible. All these UVs that I'm, I'm selecting right now, basically this whole front face, that whole area, those UVs are fine. If you look at our checkerboard pattern, they're perfect. So I want that to stay exactly like it is. So I just selected all the UVs in that area, but I don't have any of these on the outside selected. So now I go to Polygons, Unfold, Option Box, Edit, Reset Settings, down here in the middle, Pinning. Make sure Pin UVs is selected, and I'm going to change it to Pin Selected UVs. So these UVs that I have selected, I want to pin them like you're pinning a piece of paper to a wall. I don't want these UVs to move. Apply and close. And look what it did. It all stayed the same, except for those edges, which now looks a lot better. We're going to do a little bit of tweaking, but not much at all. See how it's kind of pulling that down? That's because these UVs need to see right there. So all I'm doing is just grabbing some UVs over here and just going to move it to where these flow have a better flow. And it looks like if I just line them up straight across, get what we want. All right, so that's that. And probably the same thing up here on the top. Just kind of line that up a little bit. And see how this is getting kind of small, and then these are wider? That's because this area here, we, need, we can pull that, see? But we got to be careful going too much because it will affect these up here on the corner. So we don't want it to stretch too much. So just something that kind of in the middle, something about like that. And then same thing on the other side, just kind of bring that in just a little bit. All right, same thing. This seems kind of squished up here at the top a little bit. So I'm going to select those UVs and just bring that in a little bit. Same thing down here. Just kind of match the top. All right, so that's done. The back's done. So if you look at that, our, our texture should look pretty nice on there. Let's do the front. Same thing, I'm going to select UVs everywhere I want it to stay exactly like it is. So, select all these in the middle. And then I'm just going to go around and select all these UVs on the outside. Now, I'm not selecting vertices, these are UVs. Almost done. Just got a little bit more to do. Takes a little while to select these, but I mean, just if you were modeling, you'd be selecting vertices. So a little bit of extra selection here will save us some adjust adjustments later. All right. So I've got UVs. I don't want any of this stuff to change right there. I don't want any of that to change. So I've selected all of those UVs. I'm going to pin them all. So the only thing that's going to move is the UVs on the shell that are not selected. All right, same thing, polygons, unfold. Looks a lot better. So everything stayed the same in that whole middle area. Now if I wanted to, I could have left maybe the center unselected, that one center line, but I'm looking at it and it looks fine like that, so I went ahead and selected it to not change it. All right, so the only thing left to do now is kind of adjust these edges, this outside, kind of like we did up here. And it's a little ugly over here, but eh, it's a little bit of adjustment, but not too bad. Um, looks like all I need to do is make this straight through here, except in the middle. So let's kind of do that. Let's just maybe clean all this up a little bit. It looks like we didn't have something selected. Let me undo. Yeah, we got a UV over here. Okay, that's looking a little weird. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay, we don't have some UVs selected. 
All right, so I missed one. All right, let's try that again. Unfold. All right, that looks better. All right. Let's go ahead and kind of bring that in. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, speed up this part of the thing while I'm working on this, and then once I finish getting this lined up, um, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I'm just basically going to select like all of these and just kind of scale these. So all I'm going to do is just start lining all this up to make it uh, like it should be. All right, now if you look at this, you know, we could put these on top of each other, but let's say that we wanted to, you know, have some dirt on this chair, and we got some on the front and some on the back. We wouldn't want to look exactly the same. So if there, if these UVs were on top of each other, these shells, then whatever we did on the texture, it would be exactly the same on the front as in the back. If we do it this way, then, of course, you could do whatever you wanted to on either one, and it would show up on your chair uh, exactly that way. So... Just depends on what you want to do. Uh, if you wanted the back and the front exactly the same, you could just, you know, grab one of these shells, move it directly on top, and then you can expand this to fill up more of the space so you can use more uh, texture. All right, so I'm just going to leave mine like this.